Welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 16. This is going to be part 14. My name's Infected. Let's get into it. All right, so everything's blocked off. We got to fast travel, so let's do it. That night five years ago, we destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope, for a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Though it's to give them a better tomorrow, they see only that we've made their lives harder today. Yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free, free to choose our own path. I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. <laughs> a world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want, and that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. And I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. Rides over, lovebirds, home sweet home. <laughs> <laughs> the hideaway. It's a different hideaway. Home sweet home. Otto was asking after you. Let's go and see him. Uh, never a dull moment. Last I saw, he was in the mess, as always. <laughs> okay. No. Wow, man. So, I mean, it's kind of crazy because Titan destroyed the old hideaway uh, because of the death of Benedicta. Uh, it's just a coincidence that it just happened to be at the same time that we destroyed the Mother Crystal. So Clive is thinking that the hideaway was destroyed because we destroyed the Mother Crystal, not because it was destroyed out of revenge of Benedicta. So the question still remains, you know, was it Sid that really did send Benedicta's head to Titan? Or Kupka, whatever you want to call him? Uh, me personally, I don't think he did. I think someone framed him. Uh, somebody else probably came across the body and sent the head to Titan. Um, who that is, we don't know, but we'll just have to keep on playing, man. Let's do it. Welcome back, Sid. Finish with that log so we can call it a morning. Otto will want to know what happened in Kostnis. I expect he'll be in the mess. It's crazy. We've been called Wyvern. Now we're being called Sid. Our real name is Clive. As hither yon dance autumn winds atop the rotten pier. Of Sid's return, the faithful sing across the blighted mere. I'm curious though, how did he get the tattoo off of his face? Shelves are closed. Sign outside, you, you know? Because they don't really have tattoo removal um, have technology. Any more knuckle pies? Oh, sadly not. What is that? Molly used the 
repair hand by draining blood. Okay. All right, so we got new, we got a new song. So let's see. This, this one kind of sounds like Legend of Zelda, like the Wind Waker. This one's a little too upbeat for me. This one sounds soothing. I, I like this one the most, I think, so far. Does that one have blood on it? Is it business or pleasure? We won't hear me complaining. It's even roomier than the old one was. Wow. So got my own stores, my own little counter, and thanks to you, a uh, lot fighting, the good fight, plenty of demand. The only drawback. Constant bloody racket. If it's not Dory's and Otto barking their orders, it's Blackburn and Bardolph banging away Still. day and night. Wow. Day and night. Uh, if a pain in the ear holes the price I have to pay to be Sid's outlaw's partner in crime, I'd say I've got myself a bargain. Has it really been five years since we left the old place? How time I flies. It like it was yesterday. Uh, we were all waiting to treat Sid to a hero's welcome when Kupka's lot turned up. <sighs> Not that we knew it was them. They just poured in like a plague of rats, cutting down anyone and anything that stood in their way. Blood and bodies everywhere there was, and a voice crying out for Sid to save us in the midst of it all. I'll never forget those cries, try as I might. You're our leader now, Clive. You're our leader now, Clive. Uh, promise me you won't let anything like that happen again. Promise me that, come what may, Sid will save us. Coin purse weighing you down. Alright, let's see if anything is... Anything here that can upgrade our arsenal. Finished, are you? Yep. All right, let's check out the blacksmith. Clive. What's that for, you, dear? Wow, look at that, 195. Okay, so it is flame tongue. Flame tongue, lightning short, and meteorite. 195. Um, oh, yeah. here. We'll just keep it in mind. If you told me you could fire a forge without a crystal or a bearer before I came here, I'd have taken you for a madman. But no, here it is. The secret's in the bellows, you know. They're Master Sid's own design. Uh, the other Master Sid. <laughs> so they're working now without using the ether. Off limits. Okay. All right. Let's go uh, continue the main quest. Um. Oh, hold on. Let me just interact with this just so we can get it off of here. There we go. Before we leave, I'll check the uh, blacksmith again see if anything new pops up because sometimes once you start talking to people new things pop up and if nothing pop new pops up then we'll upgrade that sword oh there you are Clive word of your adventures arrived this morning Victor sends his thanks <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the fools he sent to catch me <clears throat> not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us no one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. Still can't work that one out? There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. Have you 
finished sorting those reports yet. You're wondering what this new board is behind me, aren't you? Uh, all in good time, my fearless friend. All in good time. Um, damn, man, I kind of, I kind of feel like uh, Clive looked cooler when he had the tattoo. You know. That is what it is. I trust I'm not intruding. Oh, who's this? Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. One might say the same of you, Vivian Ninetales. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is, how did we get here? Long though Sambrek's dominion over northeastern storm has endured, recent days have seen the blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than Walud relinquish Ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambrekwa boots. Little wonder, then, that Sylvester set his sights on the Crystalline Dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire. The Dalmechian Republic. The Kingdom of Walud. And of course, our friends in Yara. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? Hmm. Wow, man. It's like countries now. You were born in Twinside. Do you not fear for your home? Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now... As to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we shall consider ourselves even. Even. Right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was... Um, adequate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. Ah, this was blocked off before. Now we can go through. Harpo, nice. Lawsman Harpocrates. Now that is a name I have not heard for a long time. So long, in fact, I had half forgotten it was mine. <laughs> Welcome nice. home, Clive. You were missed, as always. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. Ready? <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books faster than young Tet does lemon tarts. Would that I could do the same. 
but alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. That said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's Head, but without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Please, don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates. See if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. Not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. Always got a pocket for him. Nicks him off the Moogle. <laughs> Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogles. <laughs> The twins seem well. Aye. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them. However well they hide it, Titan took much from us that night. From some more than others. And the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. That we must. Just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. Gav will be back soon. I should get some rest while I can. Alright, let's see if our wisdom's How gonna go good up. it is to see you, Clive. I have a few new notes that might interest you. Okay. Let's see, level four? Nope. Damn it. You wish to study the tomes? All right, almost level four. Oh, Tone said the hideaway is built inside an airship. Said it was called the Invincible. The Invincible. Ninos. Right, let's go uh, return to our chambers. Uh-oh. Not back a blink and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like... to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Otto stole us. All right. I'll have a look. And then you get some rest. Ah, okay. What could Gav have thought worthy of a letter? So that's how they remove the, uh... Have blood on it? So that's how they remove the tattoos. The she, uh, tattoo. she cut it off with Where a scalpel. It? And it healed. Damn, man, that's painful. Otto was here earlier with a letter from Gav. He left it on your desk. All right, thanks, honey. Fall of Memories. Created the day Clive pledged allegiance to Sid. Uh, this crystal shard transfixed with twin daggers is a powerful reminder of promise made, a friendship forged, and a legacy inherited. Excellent. And that's all we have. Wow. I'm surprised there's not anything from uh, Joshua, you know? From when he was a little kid. Nothing that I've kept, I guess. Let me just look outside real quick. Nice little balcony. Hey, nice little hidden chest. Look at that, baby. Ooh, that's why you gotta... Gotta explore, you know? You never know what you might find. Let's read this table. Uh, reports, letters, and other important miss missives uh, addressed to Clive were delivered to the reading table in his chambers. New messages are always arriving, so make it a point to check the reading desk upon returning to the hideaway. Uh, the Republican army marches on the Empire to Twinside, and the men of Rock have been summoned to the front. Something big is brewing. I reckon you'll see 
<laughs> you are done to wear upon my return. What does Gav have to say? The Republican army is on the march, leaving Randalar in Hugo Kuka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance. The one we've been waiting for. But look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. Damn, that's a motivational speech, Jill. Shit. With that music, I'm jamming, baby. He did. He was there. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out to Ultima. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. Without mother crystals, to Sid, to Sid. Territories. And so the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this, this is far, far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. Twins are no more the kids. The world marches ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother, are our efforts in vain? Master Clive, a moment, if you. Oh, my apologies, I didn't mean to intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha, from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, 
I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. The gathering storm. What would make Martha leave the rest? Something has happened to Martha. We need to speak with Otto. All right. Go out here. Looks like we gotta go down below. It's crazy that we're like so high up in the air on this ship. <laughs> it's a fantasy. What do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled. Bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastpool, the Empire's been tightening its grip around the Duchy's balls. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne, conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers meek enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, Complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. She's fallen into the hands of the Empire. We could be next. A couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. Alright, cool. Let's see what she wants. Here for another of my lectures. What is it that you wish to learn? Alright, by speaking with Vivian in the Hideaway's map room, Clive can view uh, State of the Realm and learn more about the current goings in Velastea. Uh, revisit any of the Nine Tales past lessons or take a deeper look at the relationships of those individuals in Clive's orbit, okay? Here's so, the latest see. information I have. Here you can view a detailed visualization of character re relationships in Final Fantasy 16. That updates as you progress through the main scenario. Uh, okay. Okay. One must understand one's place in the world. Uh, here you can view a detailed overview of current and past events relevant to Clive's story that it has updates as you progress through the main scenario. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Very good. All right. All right, so it looks like we're going to have to fast travel. Before we do that, let's go uh, talk to the side quest person first. Damn, sucks. We got to go all the way back down below in order to talk to them. But hey, it is what it is. Let's do it. So we'll go down below, talk to them, see what they want. And then, uh, as long as it's something easy, you know, in this area, we'll do it. And then, go back to the blacksmith, upgrade the sword, and then be on our way. Damn blighty bilge. Is everything alright? Aside from the holes in my hull, everything's roses. The lake water doesn't agree with it, then. That's one way of putting it. And unless you got some grand scheme to suck the black from the lake like we do in the atrium, 
That slurry will keep eating away at the timber like young Tech does our lemon tarts. <laughs> Suppose a coat of pitch might stave off the rock for a moon or so. Assuming we had any pitch, which we don't. Not any bloody more. Doubt the old tub's got more than a dozen runs left in him. Of course, Obelus. Your skiff is our only means of reaching the mainland. Without it, we'd be lost. Well, I'm glad someone round here sees it that way. To make pitch, you need pitch trees. But in case you haven't noticed, live trees are one of the thousand things sorely lacking in the Deadlands. <laughs> no now, shit. Well, I'm not so unkind as to ask you to fell a faraway forest and lug the logs back here to the mere. Which is why we'll be needing a suitable alternative. And it just so happens I once heard the thorny pictures of Curltail Falls cover themselves in a sticky wax to trap birds and beetles and whatnot. Might be enough to tide me over. Sounds easier than felling a faraway forest, that's for certain. Okay. Looks to me like this side quest is probably not going to be in this area. Uh, no it's not. So let's see, let's open up the main map. Yeah, so it's going to be over here in order to, uh, to do it. So we got to go here. Alright, so before we do that, let's go back to the blacksmith real quick. Upgrade our sword. And then, uh... We'll check uh, Karen as well to see if she's got anything new. If not, then we're on our way, man. We're gonna do. We're just gonna continue with the main quest. I'm not gonna worry about that side quest right now. Sometimes you gotta just let them go. All right, let's check the blacksmith first. Back are ya? So will it be? This one. No. Here we go. Let's do it. No scratches, right? Yep. Anything else? Anything else? All right. Let's check out the new sword that we got. Wow, it looks cool, man. Different. All right, let's talk I to Karen. No, perhaps I should just have blank thought. And what can I do for you? Come again. All oh, right, don't. let's roll out, I'm baby. Not much bothered either way. All right, so now we need to go to the map and fast travel. What happened here? Come on. We need to find the others. I'm sorry, Sid. We were too late. The Imperials have already left. Damn. You were right, boy. <laughs> Fucking Imperials. Let's stop staying where we are for now, I reckon. Fucking A, man. Jesus. Get you to a physical Chaos, complete chaos. Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. You uh could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but all our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jill and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. so crazy that they're calling him Sid, you know? It's pretty cool, though, because it's keeping Sid in the game. 
At the same time. Cole is right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. But to culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. But at the same time, I mean, maybe they should you know, let the man rest in peace, too. But I don't know. He still has to pretend to be Sid, I guess, to keep everybody's hopes up. All right, so we have to go this way. No fast travels in sight, so let's roll through, baby. See if we can't get some loot on the way. There we go. Come on, get him. Get him, Torvo. Ooh, stabbed his ass, baby. Hell yeah. Pretty curious to see uh, how Clive's gonna react once he once he sees Joshua again, man. Because you know it's it's kind of a shame how like. Look at up ahead. Hold up, hold up. Something's going on. Martha, are you hurt? Don't worry about me. It's them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damned Black Shields, that's what happened. The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The Abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds, poor souls turned on the Imperials. Distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then they may still be alive. Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Jesus. Black Shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. It seems a step too far, even for the Empire. But yeah, so, you know, it's gonna be pretty crazy, man, to see, like, what's gonna happen because, you know, Clive was living his entire life for the past 13 years thinking that Joshua was dead, trying to get his revenge, right? Then he finally comes in agreement or out of denial. Acceptance. He starts to accept the fact that Joshua is dead and he learns that he was probably the killer of Joshua, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, then he finds, he sees Joshua when he's uh, interacting with Ultima. So now, it's been five years since then. So it's like, Jesus, man. Damn, fucking flower. So it's like, Clive has not seen Joshua for 13 years plus five years. You're talking 18 years. But they haven't seen each other. So it's like, it's gonna be crazy, man, how they're gonna react when they finally do get to meet, meet each other, finally, for the first time in 18 years, man, it's insane. But it's gotta be so rough, rough to think that, you know, he's been dead this whole entire time, and really he wasn't. It's crazy. Okay, now how do I use it? Oh, there we go. damage holy shit we fucking doing it baby we are doing it 
Oh, fucking A. Damn! Come on, Torgal, get his ass. Alright, let's fucking burn this bitch, bro. Time to throw some steak, baby. Hell yeah. Ooh, broke him. There we go. Come on, Torgal, get him. Get him. Nice, that was savage, man. I like that. Oh, we got a little chest here. That's cool. I'll take that. But yeah, man, I mean, it's got to be crazy, man, just to think that he's been dead for 13 years. You find out that you're the killer. Then you find out that he's still alive. And now it's still been five years since you've seen him. It's like, Jesus, man. What the hell is going on, bro? Talk about a, 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 a way to live your uh, your your life, bro. You know? That's your brother, man. Ain't fucking seen him in almost 20 years, 18 years, shit. I just can't believe it, bro. Come on, Hornet. Get your ass over here. Ooh, slice your ass up. There we go. Nice. Trying to get some more ability points so we can start upgrading some things, man. Try to get some new moves and stuff. And it uh, looks like we're going the wrong way, huh? Yeah, we're going the wrong way. All right, let's run back. Sorry, man. <laughs> Just trying to level up, get some XP. Actually, let's see. What level are we, anyway? Uh, we are level... 25. And we need 355 more XP in order to level up again. One battle at a time. Be cool if we can get to like level 27 before the next main boss fight. I haven't been grinding or anything off camera, you know. Um, what you guys see is is pretty much how I've been playing the game, you know. I haven't been doing anything off camera. I know there's some people out there though that they're out there grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding. They're probably level 70, 50 art by now. Shit, who knows, man? You know. But hey, I'll get uh, I'll get my levels as I play, bro. That's it. Just gotta try to fight as many enemies as you possibly can. So, uh, you take advantage of getting XP. It's over. Running past the enemies, yeah, man, it does save time, but then you're not gonna get the XP, you know? Then the game's over in fucking 10 hours anyway if you do that. I've been looking at my list of games that I want to play after this one, and, um, unfortunately, man, the, all the big, big, big AAA games that I've been looking at, a lot of them aren't really coming out until, like, September, so we got a while before some massive games pop up. You know, we'll be playing indie games and stuff in the, in the meantime, but, uh, the next AAA game that I'm, that I really want to play is not going to be here until September. So I got, I'm not in a rush to beat this game, man. I'm just, I'm just playing, having fun, enjoying it. Shit's like Game of Thrones mixed with Devil May Cry, mixed with God of War. Like this shit is fucking savage, bro. I love this fucking game, dog. To me, man, I'm gonna be honest, bro. I know there's still a lot more games that gotta come out this year. Mortal Kombat 1. Um, Hellblade. Well, actually, I don't think Hellblade's coming out this year. I think it's coming out next year. 2024. 
But yeah, man, there's a few games, man. Here, actually, let me look at my list real quick while we're running to the next area. Let's see, September, Lies of P, Witchfire, Payday 3. Are we too late? There might still be someone inside. Starfield as well. So, I mean, there's still a lot more games, bro, to, to come out for the rest of the year. Um, I remember there was a chest back here. Let me see if we can uh, open it again. Nope, it's already still been opened. Okay, just making sure, seeing if it would reset. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I know there's still a lot more games left of this of this year to come out, but I'm going to be honest, man. This game right here is my game of the year. I don't think I'm going to change my mind on that. Fucking slaughterhouse, no. man. Damn it. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offense. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. Absolutely not, baby. Let's get it. I'm just gonna fucking burn them right now. Everybody's dead. There we go. I don't, I don't think I like that ability, man. It's too slow. That whole lock-on situation. I don't think I'm a fan of that. It doesn't even really do that much damage, though. You know? I don't think I'm a fan of, the, of, of Sid's abilities. But, hey, it's better than nothing for now, you know? Because uh, the cooldown times take a take a while. Is that all of them? I think so. Quest complete. Hell yeah. Oh, two hundred fifty experience, dude. We are. So oh, we did level up. I was gonna say, man. Damn, we were going to be so close to leveling up, but we did. Excellent, man. Wow, our attack is 260 now. Wow, man. What did we get? Uh, reduce cool gauge cooldown. Okay. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. Man, it's so sad, though, you know, because it's like this, this was already like a cemetery, you know, these are people dying and then they then came in there and fucking killed them faster. Like they were already dead. They were already on their way out. You know, it's kind of fucked up. Damn, man. Found her. This is brutal. The abbot. The bearers died protecting him. Calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive. He's breathing. My friend.
friends of Martha. We're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. If only that were true. <coughs> the Black Shields will return. The cuttings will continue. Rosaria will never be saved unless we save her. Tell Martha to beg his aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. I... I shall. Sid! Where are you? Sid! In here! We found a survivor! Clive? He's gone. Fuck, man. <sighs> We've laid the abbot to rest. But the bears... They didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't. But it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms. Fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the Abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Riddick's jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. Uh, okay, so now we got to go to this side. Let's do it. Time to fight. Still gotta keep going this way. Come on, Torgo. Let's do it. Sick him, Torgo. <laughs> Should be pretty clear because we already cleared out all the enemies. Oh, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? That's new. Rank C. 5,000 bounty. Oh, you shit. You know we get in this one, baby. Every now and then, Clive may encounter creatures larger, faster, and more ferocious than most. While flight is always an option, defeating the notorious marks can earn him not own the rare materials. Oh, nice. Hell yeah, man. Let's fucking get it, baby. spotted us, Torgal? What am I saying? Of course it has. Damn! What a beast! Oh shit! Damn, this motherfucker's harder than most of these bosses I've been fighting. Go. 
about Sid's moves, man, is you get fucking stuck in that shit. Ooh, nice dodge. Fucking dodging and dodging and dodging. That shit was gangster. There we go. Fucking broke his ass finally. Alright, let's fucking hit him with this. Then we're gonna hit him with this. And then we're gonna burn him. And then we're gonna fucking rage. Crazy. Oh, there we go. Almost got him. You're finished. Wow, man. I gotta say, man. The notorious mark, bro. Oof. Wow, look at that. 200 experience, 5,000 bounty. Wow, man. What is that? It's like a star one. That's new. I only got 20 of those. I don't know what that is. You didn't see that coming. Man, I gotta say, though, you know. That thing was a little harder than some of these boss fights I've been doing. It's crazy. Yeah, that so must we, be the bridge. We already cleared all this out already.
So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden, and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. All right, so see, we got to go there. So we'll just fast travel, baby. Got to love that fast travel. We're best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Doesn't mean I won't. Doesn't mean their blood's not on my hands. Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? You couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago of black clad devils descending on villages in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times, you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh. Before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Nice. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. Nice. I've got 25 now. I wonder what those are at the bottom. This this one here at the bottom, I don't know what that is. All right, so there's one side quest thing there. Let me just check the main map. Yeah, so they want us to go back now. All right, so before we go back, let's go check out this side quest here. Let's see what this person wants. Ooh, Chocobo. Oi! You, you handy with that sword of yours? Absolutely. Of course you are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with the thing. Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Because a flock of noble Chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos? You heard me right. Wild birds? Hmm? The big ones? And not just any chocobos at that. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. They protect travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. It's true. Why, they saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Nasty lot they were too. And now they're back. Looking to settle the score. Oh, go on then. D don't just stand there. Go and help them. <laughs> Alright. Alright. 
There's a good lad. Where can I find these chocobos? I saw him cut across the way over yonder. Rotten scoundrels were driving the poor things towards the old dock. It's a dead end, that is. You save Whiteheart and her flock, you hear me? There ain't a pluckier bird in all the world. She's a hero to us locals. And don't worry. You'll know her when you see her right enough. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. I give those no good bastards a hiding from me. <laughs> Okay, cool. Alright, so let's see how far it is. So it's uh pretty close to the middle. Alright, let's go check it out, man. That's the only side quest here, right? Other than this one, of course. Let's go check this one out. White heart. That's quite a name for a chocobo. Wait, hard. It is a nice name. A white feather. I thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. Speaking of brave birds. Looks like they went that way. Okay. Let's fight these uh scorpions real quick. Give me thunder! Ah, thunder, baby. Nice. That was awesome, man. See, what's cool, too, is, like, the higher the XP that we have, the faster the, we kill these enemies, so... It's not, it's not too bad, you know? These chocobos aren't going down without a fight. There it is, right there. Fuck, of course, man. We got you coronet feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. But I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on their wall. Not around here, they won't. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh. And why is that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. It's off. Or better still, how about we hurt you both? All right, then. But don't say I didn't warn you. Let's fucking get it, baby. And then we just fucking burn them all right here, and they're all dead. <laughs> Look at that. Look at how much damage we got. Ah, more enemies approaching, eh? Give me thunder, baby. Give me some fucking rage. I need my health up. I didn't even realize how much, how low my health was. Damn, I tried to fucking dodge, but it just didn't. Fuck. Come on, dodge, man. Ah, because we're against the freaking wall. No wonder why we couldn't dodge. Dude, I'm like... I'm over here like this. I'm like trying to figure out why I'm not dodging. And it's because we're right on the fucking edge of the wall. 
idiot. safe now. White heart, I presume. <coughs> Do you know her, boy? Is that Ambrosia? And Scar. It couldn't be. Dude, it is Ambrosia. Whoa, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Wow, man. You. They put what her in a side fuck? quest. That's crazy, man. I can't believe they put her in a side quest, man. That's, this should have been a main quest, honestly, bro. I'm happy I did this one. And you found yourself a flock. <laughs> nice. Oi! He, he isn't over! I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh, are you sort of the bastards then? I knew you would. <laughs> and the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. And not only that. Well, I'll be. I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mound. <laughs> Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. <laughs> Bird like her would have cost a princely sum. You born a lord or something? Well... I, um... Oh, no, sorry, sorry, I, I I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter who you are, you done right by me. What is it, girl? She wants her master back, I reckon. <laughs> Told you, and it seems her pals agree. <laughs> nice. You want to come with me? Hell yeah, she does. Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. The lads down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. <laughs> oh, stay right where you are. This is awesome, man. She got her battle armor on. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? She does indeed. How much do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old white heart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry, we'll get along just fine without her. <laughs> You hear that, White Heart? You've earned yourself some time off. You have fun traveling with your master now. 
Hmm. You seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarmed my car on the road, didn't you? Uh... No. No, that can't be right. That fellow was a bearer. Must have been my double. Oh, must have been, eh? <laughs> Oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me. Silly sod that I am. Pay me no mind. What the fuck, you don't see the scar on no. his cheek? Best be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. Was a bear. You don't see the scar on my cheek, bro? Come on. Obviously, I got that scar from the bird tattoo. You take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. Hilarious. Nice. Quest complete. Cool, man. Chocobo unlocked. Gangster! That's what's up. Alright, after 18 long years, Clive has finally been reunited with his faithful steed. Hold R3 while in the field to summon Ambrosia and X to mount the chocobo. Oh, hell yeah, baby. Oh, well, you know we gotta try it. There we go. Ready, go. Yeah! Ah, okay, and Jill's got her own chocobo. Okay, cool. And then Torgal. Alright, so Gal. Ambrosia. Oh, damn, we can jump too? Rain in is to stop. Wow, look at that. So we can trot and then we can run. We can jump. And this, let's see how the Safe. dismount is. And then what then where is she she's gone. Okay, cool. So she just disappears. Excellent. Alright, so let's go over to this area. Right, let's see. So the only thing we have is uh, this place right here for a little side quest. And then after that, we'll continue the main quest. Um, but with that being said, this is where I'm going to end it, guys. So if you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, my name has been Infected. Till next time, peace.